What's up, Terrains? My name is Cargo, and welcome back to another episode of 1.4 Melee Series. Uh, today, we're going to be taking on the Brinna Cthulhu and possibly the Perforators as well, as long as, or as well as a bunch of armor upgrades, hopefully some weapon upgrades. We're going to be farming in the, the Underworld, so I'm excited to get into it. Uh, I think the first thing off the bat is actually I need to grab bombs so I can get into the uh, Crimson and break the hearts. So let me just do that real quick. Confused and where I'm at. Grab some bombs, probably only need like 25 or so. And then I actually uh, need to make sticky bombs. So I'm gonna put those back and make things that we probably need a little bit better. There we go. And then uh, we're also gonna grab um, some potions. So let's go back into here. Do I need the regen and some food. And our heart reach is actually really good in this fight. I think we're gonna crush this fight if I'm gonna be completely honest. Uh, we'll grab a hundred potion and I I think that should be it But we'll just in case just grab a couple of other ones like the iron skin and the endurance perfect um, I've already created an arena for our uh, uh, Our fight today in uh, against the crimson the brain of Cthulhu could not think of that boss's name But yeah, uh, create a arena for that. So don't need to do that kind of done like I like doing the off uh, recording stuff like uh, you know digging the elevator uh, making arenas and just like kind of like jamming out to music while I do that. It's actually like really relaxing. So I did that. Um, I'm feeling good. I'm excited for this episode. Uh, something I wanted to maybe not make note of, but I uh, thought was super weird is so my first two videos of this series did really, really well. And I was very overwhelmed by all the views, all the comments, everyone just like really appreciating it. And then YouTube like did something really weird and they just stopped recommending my videos. Like my videos normally get, you know, like around like hundreds of views a day, like as it like kind of just keeps getting recommended to other viewers and whatnot. And so like, it's always like in a slow climb. Everything is flatlined. I don't get any new viewers. My current subscribers don't see the videos. Like in comparison, so we had 70,000 people look at the video, like just like see it on their timeline or whatever. In the first two video or like the first video alone had 70,000 the last two videos combined have 2,000 so it's just really bizarre not sure what YouTube's done there uh, but I think what's so cool I was talking to the janitor about this is I don't have this uh this innate like I want it to be better and I want to do better at YouTube but it, it's out of a sense of like wanting to do better for my hobby not in the sense of like I need it to do better for my job if that makes sense so I'm actually really excited about where it's at. Um, not in the sense of like, I don't love the idea that it's not doing well, but I love the idea that I can just continue to make videos when I want to. I really enjoy doing it right now. I'm actually like, I'm every day I'm like itching. I wish I could make like three videos a day right now. Like that's how I kind of feel. Some days like don't allow for that. Like as you might've seen, like there are certain times that I like, there'll be a day or two that I miss because like work is busy and like stuff in my life is busy. But I'm I'm loving it right now, and I didn't, I didn't think I would love it as much as I am. Like I knew I missed it, but it's like a I don't know. It's a lot more all of a sudden. I feel like that, at least. Okay, so we are about to break the um the last one here. I'm gonna go ahead and buff up. I'm gonna throw a couple of bombs, and we're just gonna do one, two, three, just in case, and that should get us where we need to go. Perfect. I'm actually gonna pause this. Didn't mean to pause that. Meant to do that. That's where my brain was headed. And we're just gonna start throwing these guys around. We, I'm assuming we're gonna do a lot of AOE damage. Yeah, look at that. We only had already 25 creepers left. I'm not hitting a bunch, but I'm also not getting hit a lot. There we go. Okay, okay. things are dying. They're getting poisoned. Doing that dot damage which is awesome. And then we could even switch to this. Uh, not doing a whole lot of damage though. There we go. Uh, that did a lot of damage. Oh, I forgot about this fight. Oh, I this I just like got a flashback from Fargo's soul mod fight of this. This was terrifying. I don't even know what to do here. Maybe I use the homing one for this. Because it, it'll like tell me. Alright, I can actually see it. Oh, and I also have the boss cursor. Whoa, you hit hard. Whoa. And I'm confused. I'm doing like negative damage. 
This is not okay. All right, sorry. I'm like, oh no. Oh wait, that wasn't a. Uh... Oh my gosh, I keep getting stuck. My boss cursor doesn't know where it is anymore. We're probably one shot. Oh no, come on. Hey, there we go. <laughs> that was so nerve wracking. Oh my goodness. We got two of these. The crimson, this bloody hell, spawned from a formless mass of flesh that fell from the stars eons ago. It is now home to many hideous creatures, spawned from the pumping blood and lurking organs deep within. Brain of Cthulhu, an eye and now a brain. Most likely another abomination spawned from this inchoate, in, inchoate mass of flesh. I've never seen that word in my life. Okay, we got the Brain of Confusion, which is really good in 1.4, which is awesome. I probably won't be utilizing it until... I don't even know. Probably actually never in this playthrough, unfortunately. It's a really good uh, accessory for vanilla at this point, but possibly not us. Okay, so we're going to put this away. Uh, I've also updated this. I forgot to mention that. I can't place it. I need a builder's potion to be able to place it. Uh, maybe I can do one of these. Hang on. We're going to just we're gonna put a platform down. That way I don't have to... Oh, shoot. But the I need the table to not be there. Bummer. We'll just do it right here. Boom. All right, my brain's moving like a mile an hour, and it's probably obvious. Uh, work has been kind of crazy recently, so we're doing a lot. Oh, I didn't grab the last uh, item from the crimson. I'm going to do that real quick, just in case it was a, a heart necklace thing. Oh, we got a meteorite landed already. Boom, that was fast. Uh, I don't think there's anything... Well, actually, I don't know. Calamity adds a bunch of stuff, I would assume, for... Uh... I didn't have a bug net on me. That would have been nice. Oh, I do have a bug net on me. Ooh, I got one of them. Got another one. I got both of them. Amazing. Can I uh, bottle these up and release them, or is it just like they're? I don't even actually know what to do with them. I haven't had one in a while. I forgot that was a thing in 1.4. I have no idea what to do with that. Um, but yeah, we're almost there. <gasps> you dirt bag. I really wanted a, a dwarf because it's actually or a gnome. It's actually really good for uh, farming, but not daytime, so it would take forever. I don't want to wait that out. That would be a rather annoying, in my opinion. All right, we did not get the heartbreak necklace or whatever it's called. I can't remember what it is, um, but uh, it was another Undertaker, unfortunately. However, we can now make a pickaxe. So apparently not. Why can't we make a pickaxe? We have the materials to do so, don't we? That we did. We just need the flesh and. Oh, we need bars. Crimtain bars. Duh. I only have the the ore. There we go. Got a bunch of those bad boys. I'm not going to make the armor uh, just because I don't think I really need it. I'm just going to go right to molten armor. Um, so we're going to make the... Um, I don't remember what it's called. I always forget. The Deathbringer. Was it the Nightbringer and the Deathbringer? Is that what it is? Yeah, Keen. Very nice. Yeah, we're going to go right into the Underworld. And... Um, we're going to farm Hellstone. We're going to get a couple of things with the Hellstone, I believe. Um, one of the things I actually wanted to make was a um, Crimson Crusher Blade. Let me see. Crimson Crusher. Oh, apparently it's not a thing. Is it not an item anymore? See, this is what I was confused by. So, the, the Old Lord Sword and the Blade Crest Oath Sword. So these are two weapons I can get right now. So the old load, old Lord Oath Sword. Oh my gosh, that is terrible to say. Um, I don't think does a lot of uh, like range damage, and I kind of need range damage for the perforators. But the blade crest, um, it shoots like these blades, and they're not homing, but they do do fire damage. So I think it'd be really good for the perforators. But there's another sword um, that I wanted to make. And it's called the Crimson Crusher Blade. And I wonder if it's been removed because it applies like the Icor debuff and or Icor. But uh, it said that it's a craftable weapon and it's I see a recipe on the wiki. So maybe it's been removed. Maybe I just can't get it anymore. I don't know. Oh my gosh, no way. We just got the O Sword. This is like my third demon I've, I've killed. Oh, and it killed me. Look at that. But I can't believe I got that. I was like just about to like come up and oh, see, this is what I was thinking that we would need. Look at that. And when oh, oh wait, hang on. I just tried to do the true melee form if it had one. Okay, it doesn't have a, a right click, but I feel like that's pretty good, right? Maybe not. 
I don't know, does it actually look like it goes up? Fires burst. That expensive GG seller and explode. Wait. Have they changed it since like updating the wiki? Because that is not what the wiki says. Does it do, does it do fire damage? Can't kill anything with it. This might not be as uh, beneficial as I thought it would be. And it's also a pretty bad reforge. And what I'm thinking is... Yeah, technically we have a lot of things to go through. So the Perforators, Queen Bee, and then Skeletron. So we still can't get the Goblin Tinker until all of that's done. So that's kind of sad. However, did we get anything cool? No. We did not. Got nothing cool. Hey, but there's my boy, uh, Jax. Getting a, a painting over there. Won't buy it because it's not worth my money. But I appreciate it, Jax. Alright. Let's go ahead and change this out for that. Uh, can I remove you? Awesome. And we're going to put everything else. And we also got Demon Scythe, which is crazy. I've killed like three demons. And we got two of the weapons they drop. Uh, and I don't think we have enough um, uh, obsidian to make enough hellstone. Oh, we have 49. I don't think that's enough. Um, let's make the hellstone or molten armor. What do we need? 15. That's 35. Oh, we have 45. Sweet. I'll definitely want to make the molten pickaxe. Well, actually, maybe not. We got the molten helmet boom we got the breastplate boom and the legs nailed it okay so let's go ahead and read off the difference in our set bonuses so set bonus is uh, you get four defense every 10 defense you give gives you one life regen every point of defense give you 0.1 percent chance uh increase so we would get 2.4 i don't know i said 0.24 the other day somebody corrected me on it because we had 24 defense at the time now it's different, but we also get 25% uh, mining speed. Now we get that bonus of 10% extra melee damage. Cannot be set on fire, which is sweet. 20% extra true melee damage. Oh, that's extra dope. And grants immunity to fire blocks and temporary immunity to lava, which is what I really like because I hate dealing with lava and I hate always having to have an obsidian potion on me. So that's really great. We're going to put this away. Oh, and we also have 28 defense comparatively to our 23 defense. Making sure I didn't throw away all of that stuff. We're good here. So now what I want to go do is actually create an arena for the perforators. And I'm going to do that real quick. Oh no. I was on my way to the perforators. And the molten guys started coming in here. And I didn't see a meteor. And it's up here. No. <laughs> That's so sad. Well, I guess we might as well mine it real quick. Because I totally forgot about it. Let's see if it uh, gives us anything cool. Dang, that is, that is actually so sad. And I, my favorite part, a vein miner. Boom, or or excavator, however you want to say it. It's amazing. Dang, I hate when that happens. The only thing that's next to worse than this is actually the... Uh, um, I can't remember what I'm saying here. Oh, when it like goes down like a corruption uh, tunnel or whatever, and it gets like 10 blocks because it hits in a massive tunnel. That is actually the worst, because then you don't get a lot. At least we got still a good amount from here. I'm not too worried about needing more meteorite than this, but do I have to break more altars or more hearts to get more meteors? Or since I broke three, do I have a chance every time up to three meteors? I actually don't remember how that works. Do I need to have a meteor spawn and then break another one, and then that gives me the chance? Someone who's a, a wiki... Or maybe a dev. <laughs> Any uh, wiki experts out there, let me know. Okay, I think that's all of them. There's one, two here, and three here, but I'm not too worried about it. Let's go ahead and see what we can make with these. Make me write bars. Oh, and then we can make lightsabers. Kind of fun, actually. Do they do anything cool? And I, I think I have enough to make some lightsabers, actually. I, for, I always forget about the phase blades. I never build it. Oh, and the meteor ham axe. That's actually a really good tool for now, because right now I'm... Just, I'm still using tin hammer and a copper axe, and it's weak. <laughs> so we're going to put these away, and uh, we'll make some meteorite bars. Oops. And then does the meteorite bars actually, do they make any of the upgrades? No, they don't. Uh, we'll make the ham axe. Oh, that does, oh, that rogue weapon is actually sweet. And then we'll see if we can make a phase blade. Phase blade. We can make a few of them. Oh, which one do we want? White? That's pretty sick for like the gray Jedi. But I've always been like a blue lightsaber guy. You know, blue is like one of my favorite uh, colors. So boom, we got that. 
We got a, a phase blade. Let's see if it does anything sweet. No, other than it being a dope lightsaber. That is it. But it does, I mean, a lot, a lot. it's pretty high damage. 66 melee damage and then 79 true melee damage. And it's a true melee weapon because it's just a melee swing. That's actually not bad at all. Let me see, like, let me see. Boom, 80 damage. Woo, that's crazy. And then we got the unpleasant uh, modifier on it. I'm not, I'm not too mad about that. I'm actually really happy. All right. We are headed to our arena. It's decent. I... I don't think we'll need anything more than it, um, but I will not be surprised if I need a little bit more uh, added to it. So um, I did find out actually that the Blade Crest O Sword is actually a lot better. I say sword a lot. I don't know why I'm saying sword. I never say sword, but I feel like these words that they put the word sword in have to be said sword. If you can't tell the difference, then I'm sorry, but they have to be said that way because they're so intensive words i don't understand I, I i just fumble through them so i just, i'm finding myself saying sword a lot hey we have another traveling merchant another opportunity for those uh those things so anyhow we have our buffs selected we have a couple more calamity buffs uh just because they add a little bit more defense so nature's blessing and or dry's blessing and then the triumph potion um just using those and now we just have to wait for assist to spawn in but this is our our simple arena Gives us a, a quite a bit of wiggle room in my opinion but uh the oh yeah back to what i was saying you can kind of see that it, they are homing so even though they aim down they definitely home towards enemies which is a good thing uh it's saying that we have possibly assist over here perfect amazing okay um probably honestly yeah look at it oh my gosh okay let's get a buff up gotta do that oh hi buddy you look ugly as ever. Thank you for being here. I appreciate all the damage that you just gave me. Oh my gosh, you're awful. Okay, we're good. The sound it makes is terrible. And it's, uh, I didn't realize that this was going to be true melee. I thought the, since they had like the, ow, <laughs> it jumps right in that, um, the projectiles, that it wasn't going to be considered true melee, but it does, which is nice. Oh, I forgot about you. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Uh, I don't know. Are we supposed to be attacking the hive? Are we supposed to be attacking the worm? Ooh, okay. We almost have adrenaline. We're over halfway through that. I'm going to keep on focusing on dodging because adrenaline is actually, I think, better than rage. Um, okay. But we are inflicting fire damage, which is really cool. I don't remember which button it is. I found it. 55% damage. I don't think we need to kill the worm. Oh, oh, there's two worms. Oh, and it's a bigger worm. And it's a better worm. And uh, did it live? Oh, no, no. Okay, that's the health bar for the worm specifically. And it, is it segmenting? Like the... Yeah, it's totally segmented health. I wonder if we have to... Uh, oh, I forgot about the rage. Um, I wonder if we have to kill the worms to finish the boss fight. Even if we kill like the hive first, you know? Ow, that hurt. Okay, we're good. Oh, I wish I had the music up higher. I need to keep, I keep forgetting to turn the music up for these boss fights. Wow, I got really lucky there. I just slam dunked it with the uh, Aya Cthulhu shield and it killed its head. That was kind of crazy. It was like punching a shark right in the nose. Ow, ow, it hurts so badly. Um, we have 45 seconds on a health potion. We are not doing great on the health department. I'm gonna be completely honest. But the hive is not doing so great either, which is awesome. Ow, those little demons that stay in the sky for so forever long. Um, oh, I'm so scared. Ah, all right, we dodged the fire parts. Another worm. Are you kidding me? Three worms? That seems like a little bit much, don't you think? Oh, there's so much to keep track of. Uh, did it? Oh, no, no. Oh, 10 seconds out of health potion. No, and it flies. I keep forgetting that it flies. This is so terrifying. I need to bring that, uh, the second, no, I need to bring the second platform down so I can actually get to it with my second jump. I think having to grapple to it is not the best idea, but I mean, we made it pretty far, 10% HP on the first try. I think that's a good start. All right, we're back to the three worm phase and I'm just as terrified as before. It does not feel good. Um, <laughs> everything hurts so bad. I feel like I'm constantly low health. I'm actually doing all right right now. Ow, but look at that. Look how hard that hits. Ow. As soon as I say it. Uh, can I not health potion? No, I have 40, se 40 seconds on a health potion. 
Man, I don't I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this. This is my last attempt for the day, unfortunately. I just don't have the time to keep uh, spending on this because uh, it took a while to get where I'm at right now. Oh my gosh, I got destroyed there. It was full health. I, mean, I don't think the O sword is it. I think it's just so unreliant on what I hit. Like honestly, the trident was doing more damage because this is like so little damage. I don't know. It's so confusing. So I'm gonna try a few different weapons uh, in the next episode. Maybe we could farm something new. Maybe I don't know uh, certain accessories that I should use. Um, please let me know in the comments like any recommendations that you guys might have for the accessories slash weapons. And also uh, let me know if you guys finish this episode. I would love to know who all makes it to the end. Um, yeah, I appreciate that. And also, if you left a like, maybe YouTube's algorithm is really broken right now and it doesn't think our videos are good. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, maybe leaving a like will fix it. I, I literally have no idea. It's like a random shot in the dark. Um, so most of you that end make it to the end of this video, do leave a like. So I really appreciate it. Uh, otherwise, um, thank you for everything. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.